Crescent Head is home to me. Like this is where I was born and raised and it's a special place in my heart, it has a lot of good memories. If you've never visited Crescent before, I'd definitely head down some of what we call the back roads into the national parks and get into some camping down there. There's some beautiful headland walks. Somewhere to head for a great afternoon sunset view is probably the top of the golf course. You get a view of the ocean right over Crescent Head Point, but also you get out to the west, like a view of the mountains, and, and that's where the sun sets over the mountains kind of high up there and get a bird's eye view of the whole town as well. What a lot of people come here for is basically once you arrive here and you park your car, you can walk to everything. Crescent Head is a small town, there's not a lot here, you know, we have a local bakery, cool little coffee shop called The Blackfish, and there's like a little fruit and veg on the corner, they both do really good coffees. It's just about coming here to sort of switch off and have a laid back lifestyle and, and get away from the big city. If you have a family, you can just set up camp and like the kids, kids are set for the holiday, you know. The place is not overdeveloped, so, you know, driving down a dirt road and pulling up at a beach, you're there with a bunch of mates. It's, it's one, of, one of the best things I love to do when I come back here. It's just so untouched, beautiful rocks, kind of like where the rainforest meets the ocean. It's a bit like, you know, far north Queensland and I feel like Crescent Head has that and people can experience that, you know, in New South Wales and there's not many places left left like this. Mm -hmm.